this news update is brought to you by Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. This is a 7 a.m. Bobby This Today update for Thursday, January 9th, 2014. I'm Kmar Jordan. No word yet on whether bus fares will increase or if free bus rides for the elderly will continue. Transport Minister Michael Lashley says he'll know more on these two issues when he receives a report on the restructuring of the Transport Board in two weeks' time. Lashley insists, however, that while some social initiatives should continue, others may be stopped due to misuse. He says the wastage must end. Uh, we're looking at new routes. Um, we're looking at engaging um, the transport authority and transport board to work together as one. And we, we have two committees in place that should be reporting back to us within a week's time with that restructuring plan. And once we look at it internally, we will send it off to cabinet for cabinet's approval. Three telecommunications companies in Barbados are being investigated for alleged anti-competitive practices. In its 2013 annual report, the Fair Trading Commission says it is probing complaints against Digicel, Columbus and Lime. The complaints range from refusal to supply to price squeezing and covers the April 2012 to March 2013 period. It's not clear when the investigations will end. She's the government's special advisor on poverty eradication and in the midst of very trying economic times and the government's contemplating massive layoffs in the public service, Undine Whitaker wants Barbadians to be more productive and to look out for each other. Meantime, Antigua and Barbados Prime Minister Baldwin Spencer says he's not about to go the route of Barbados in sending home thousands of public servants. Addressing a public rally of his ruling United Progressive Party this week, Mr. Spencer assured Antiguans and Barbudans that while the problems facing the two CARICOM states may be the same, his government's remedy is quite different. However we do it, we are not going to embark upon any kind of wholesale retrenchment of government workers, public sector workers, and we have lived up to our obligation up to now, my dear good people, and we intend to maintain that. What is happening in Barbados and in certain other countries, we could have adopted the same position here because the same issues do exist, but we have taken a different position. In sports, the president of the Barbados Football Association wants the constitution changed. Randy Harris says the BFA needs to be registered as a corporate body, since the current system makes directors responsible for every civil liability. He says the association will be moving to fix the situation at its next general meeting or at an extraordinary meeting this year. There's regional and international news after this short break. McInerney Quality and Consolidated Finance invite you to trade in your old car for a new one. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. That's right, all trade-ins are welcomed. Any make or model, we'll trade towards your new car. Plus, you get two years free insurance when you purchase a Kia, Mazda or Ford. And with on-the-spot financing by Consolidated Finance, you can drive away with something new. So, bring your car and come to McInerney Quality in Wildy. All trade-ins are welcomed. The Business Minute, every Tuesday and Thursday on this platform. Informative, up-to-the-minute, up-to-date news you can trust every time. Turning to regional developments, Digicel Jamaica is offering a $1 million reward. It wants to know who vandalized its network multiple times, causing its service to be disrupted. CEO Barry O'Brien says both the primary and backup fiber routes were deliberately targeted. Service has, however, since been restored. Internationally, the deep freeze that's been gripping North America is loosening its icy grip. After shattering century-old temperature records, forecasters say the weather has begun warming up. At least 21 people have died since Sunday as a result of the weather and more than 11,000 flights have been grounded. 
That's our 7 a.m. update. Join us again at noon. In the meantime, log on to www.barbiestoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Stay tuned. The Signia Business Minute is up next with Vic Finance. The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure the world will be yours. Take you to exceptional, incredible new heights. And get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. It's been a popular shopping and vacation spot for Barbadians for many, many years. Now business leaders in Bridgetown are seeking to take greater advantage of opportunities for reciprocal trade with South Florida. Yesterday, a two-year MOU was signed between the Barbados American Chamber of Commerce and its local equivalent, the BCCI. President of the BCCI, Lalo Vashwani, is eager to meet the demand in South Florida for Barbadian food, beverages, and condiments. Whenever visitors come to Barbados, they enjoy our cuisine and they wonder how they can take it back with them. But there's only so much you can take back in a suitcase, no matter what your you know, desire. And so the idea is to have it as she, as Barbara said before, just to pop around the corner and pick up whatever you want. Meantime, the protocol amending the agreement between Canada and Barbados for the avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion with respect to taxes on income and capital is now in full effect. Under the accord, a company that operates in both countries will be regarded as resident solely in Barbados and will be liable to pay taxes in Bridgetown. Where Canada wishes to make a claim to tax on that same entity, it can only do so on income derived from Canadian sources. Staying at home, Mother Nature has hit the farming community where it can least afford to feel it most, in the pocket. It's the vein. It talks about the vines, the vine crops, the thing. Recently, I plant two stages of watermelon and lose all the fine. All the farmers in this area losing all the vine crops. And now for today's business tip. Lisa Gale of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry says businesses simply need to plan, plan, and plan. Set certain goals. And with those goals, then it would allow you to then determine what is the actions. And after determining your actions, then you would then look to see what your output is. And I think that's a good place that companies can start for 2014. Thank you, Lisa. And that's today's Business Minute. Join us again on Tuesday. I'm Vic Fernandes. The Business Minute is brought to you by... To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. The world will be yours. Take you to exceptional, incredible new heights. And get set for Signia. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.